Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me. I'm going to read a, a brief passage of Scripture and then talk with you about it. Jesus was speaking to his disciples, and he said, For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. I have to ask you a serious question today. Do you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and are you actually a disciple of Jesus Christ? I mean, are you a follower of Jesus? Do you trust him enough? that you'll follow him and trust him and believe on him no matter what happens in your life? I certainly hope so. That would be my prayer for you. But Jesus Christ knew that there were some who were following him, maybe because they thought they could get something from him. Maybe they thought he would meet their needs. Maybe he would feed them or heal them or something that they were looking for. And it says Jesus knew those that believed not. What he means by that is those who trusted him enough to believe in him, no matter what it looked like on the outside, did they trust him? And uh, would they follow him no matter what was going on around them? He says uh, he knew that some of them would betray him, should betray him. And he said, therefore I said unto you, no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. It means that no one is going to come to Jesus Christ until you come under conviction of your own sin and recognize that you need to have a relationship with God and that you're willing to release control of your life and give control of your life to God. That's what Jesus is talking about here. And he says, uh, from that time, many of his disciples, that word there literally means the followers, the people who were following him around. It didn't, wasn't talking about true born-again believers in Christ. It was talking about those following him around went back and walked no more with him. So what about you? When hard times come in your life, do you get angry at God and blame him? Or do you recognize maybe you were part of that? Or pe other people in the world around you were part of that trouble? Um, if there is a problem, do you go to God and pray and lean on Him? Or do you tend to say, well, if it's going to be like this, and I'm, forget this, I'm on my, I'm going to go do something else. I think, unfortunately, this breaks my heart, there's a lot of people that if they don't get what they want, then they want to go their own way, and they fall away. Those are not truly born again people. But if you're a person who's truly born again, you'll never fall away. You know the Lord. You're going to believe in Him. You're going to trust in Him. You're going to seek with His help to obey Him the rest of your life. None of us like some of the things we have to go through, but I know and I'm persuaded that He holds me in His hand and He's able to keep me against that day when I meet Him. And I'm seriously concerned about you. I want you to know that for yourself. Put your trust in Him. If you have any questions, you can always come and visit our church. We meet every Sunday morning for worship and Sunday evening at 5 o'clock for worship. Also, you can call my office and you can make an appointment. I would love to come and talk with you um, and uh, answer your questions as best I can using the Bible, okay? God bless you. Have a wonderful day.